buy Julio Jones. I feel like this was inevitable. A buy Julio Jones transaction was bound to happen given he still hasn't found the end zone. Excluding the playoffs, Jones has scored just three times in his last 21 games. We know that's the biggest reason he's not ranked higher in fantasy football right now. But there's just so much going for him that we just can't ignore. He's got a 29% target share this season, which is one of the highest marks in the league, and he's captured 48% of Atlanta's air yards. That's the number one air yard target share in football. He has a 15.1 average depth of target, which is one of the better marks in the league, and that combined with his target share is what makes him a truly elite asset in fantasy football. But I get it. He's not scoring touchdowns. He only has three red zone targets this season. That's the same number as teammate Mohamed Sanu and two fewer than rookie Calvin Ridley. Now that's going to limit his upside in fantasy football. Even though his receiving yardage total tells us that he should have between three and four scores by now, or at least players with his total historically have seen that many touchdowns, we also know that context is important. And context is saying that Jones isn't some premier red zone threat. We know this. But here's the thing, the fact that Jones is a fringe wide receiver one in PPR formats right now, despite not having a touchdown, is absolutely insane. Had he found the end zone just once this year, he'd be a top six fantasy football wide receiver. At this point, touchdowns are almost icing on the cake. And I do think that touchdowns will come. Maybe not in bunches, maybe not at the rate that we see from someone like Antonio Brown or other elite wide receivers, but they should come. And they could come as soon as this week against Tampa Bay, who he scored twice against last year. It's just worth talking to the Julio Jones manager in your league. See where they're valuing him. Because given his usage, he should still be valued as a wide receiver one in fantasy football from here on out.